Finally tonight, our person of the week. A man who believes that the first thing a soldier sees when returning to the United States is all important. They're glad to see us and we're uh, tickled to death to see them, of course, because they're our, they're our heroes. Every morning for over a year now, Bert Brady gets up, fixes himself a cup of coffee, and heads over to the Dallas-Fort Worth airport. Not to fly anywhere, welcome home. but to welcome home American troops returning from Iraq and Afghanistan. I went 300 days last year. Brady, a 69-year-old veteran, is a member of the Welcome Home a Hero program, trying to make sure every soldier that comes through Dallas gets a special homecoming. Thank you. And he's not alone when he goes. Brady has reached out to almost anyone who will join him. And we have people who only come on weekends, people who work. We have people who can't get there during the week. Schools, uh, kindergartens, Christian schools. We have a lot of support from the Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts. Brady's goal is to make the soldiers feel appreciated and proud of their service. Specialist Rodriguez comes with a hug if you like. He's joined by many Vietnam and Korea vets who did not feel that, who did not get a warm homecoming. Put on, Sergeant. And they're making sure that it does not happen again, not to this generation of soldiers. We're not going to forget them. Uh, like a lot of Vietnam soldiers have been forgotten, we're not going to forget the soldiers of today. We owe it to them. They're doing a big job for us. When I came home in 1954, there was nobody, no nothing. You are the man. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. We're so proud of you all. It's just really rewarding for me. You can't make 200 people happy and not do that. 95% of them are smiling. And you know, uh, you never can tell uh, if one of their buddies died in their arms yesterday. So you get all kinds of uh, emotions coming through the line. How do the soldiers feel? Uh, it's, it's great. <laughs> I'm just glad to be back. Sometimes it's overwhelming. It's incredible to see the support and everybody cheering them on. And just... it's, it's just nice to be home. But, uh, I mean, we know they took uh, time out of their day, you know, to be... <laughs> When asked why he does this, Brady recalls a moment he shared with one soldier. He said, Mr. I will never forget you. My heart was pounding like, like it was going to burst out of my chest. He said, it's, a, it's the greatest thing that's ever happened to me is, is the reception that I got. And so we choose Bert Brady and all the others who come out every day to welcome the troops home. They hand out cookies, but frankly, the smiles, the hugs, and the handshakes are a whole lot more important.